Thank you for joining. We'll get started. Mark Berman. Okay, Sean, I need to ask you some non-rockets, a couple of non-rockets questions. What did, uh, what did, uh, did it mean to you to be able to follow in your father's footsteps at Ohio State? Um, yeah, I mean, that was definitely one of the uh, um, uh, key part of uh, me wanting to be a Buckeye, just knowing that my dad played there and, um, you know, it's fr where I'm from. You know, I grew up 15 minutes from campus and um, actually my high school coach also uh, played there, Jerry Francis. So um, Ohio State has been in my my family for, you know, a couple of generations and, um you know, I just felt like uh, it'd be cool to uh, keep that torch kind of kind of going. He told our affiliate there that um, you guys would play one-on-one -on -one till about the seventh grade, and it got too physical. He thought it was time to stop because it could damage y'all's relationship. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I, I remember, uh, um, you know, growing up, those, he definitely didn't, didn't take it easy on me. Uh, they got a little physical. I remember the first time I beat them, I probably was in, like, Ninth grade, he probably let me win, but like that's when I, I really knew. All right, I, I I can be pretty good when I finally beat him. So, Jonathan Fagan, hey, Jay Sean, when you are playing as the five in some of the small lineups, what are the adjustments you make compared to, or if there are some, compared to the uh, other minutes you play? Um, really, it's more like on the defensive end that there's. Um, like a difference just in, you know, the personnel you're guarding. Um, you know, when I'm at the five, I'm undersized, which means I got to kind of do my work early, um, get to spots earlier, um, try to, you know, be be smart about, you know, uh, where, where to be at on the floor just because those guys are just, you know, really big. And whereas on a guard, um, when I'm at the three, I'm more on the perimeter guard and perimeter players. Um, but, you know, we switch one through five. So at any given point um, throughout the game, you're going to be matched up on uh, guards and centers. So it's not not a huge adjustment, but um, it's a mindset. I was going to ask about that switching. Do you uh, switch all screens there when you're at the five? Or are there some matchups that you guys rather uh, avoid, keep you on the big man? And then I guess you have to be really in sync. How, how do you guys work that? I mean, yeah, I think it just depends on personnel um, who we're playing that night. Um, we don't want, uh, you know, some of our smaller players to have to, you know, guard some of these mega centers or mega bigs. So, um, yeah, like it just it just depends on the night. But I, I feel that, you know, when we go to that small ball lineup, um, that that group has a lot of grit and a lot of competitiveness. We can guard anybody. And that's the mindset you got to have when you play that small. Thanks. Brian Bearfield. Jason, how does the ankle feel and how are you all able to block out all of the chatter and noise that goes on outside of the locker room when it comes to trade rumors and people being released and things like that? How are you all able to uh, block that out? Yeah, um, you know, I think these, uh, you know, couple of days have been, you know, of course, it's you know, terrible what's going on in the city of Houston with the power and the water uh, situation. But from a standpoint of um, rest, resting our bodies, um, getting prepared for, you know, Chicago tomorrow, I think uh, those couple of days um, done done us uh, justice. And, you know, with recovery and, you know, just focusing in on getting a good practice in there. I think we, we had a really good competitive practice the last two days and um, our energy is up for tomorrow. We're looking forward to playing tomorrow. Um, and like you said, um, you know, we've had outside noise from the beginning of the season. So, um, you know, we're just controlling what we can control and focusing on, you know, trying to get, get out of this, you know, losing streak that we're in. How does the ankle feel? Ankle feels, it feels a lot better. Like I said, those two days, three days, um, you know, of rest and, and not, not having to get up and down um, in a 40 minute or however long game is, you know, it's, it's good. So I'm, I'm ready to play tomorrow. I'll be ready to go. Mark Berman. Sean, what were, what were some keys for you in persevering through your journey to get where you are now? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, just being patient, betting on myself, um, believing in myself. Um, you know, you go back and, you know, you look, you know, throughout the years and to where I am now, like people, people would say no way, you know, and um, I think that, that that's the biggest thing is just having the belief in myself and just being patient and waiting on my opportunity and, you know, God took care of the rest with giving me the opportunity and, um, yeah, uh, still trying to improve, still things I got to work on, but, you know, I'm happy to be a Rocket and um, hopefully we can get ready to go tomorrow against the Bulls. Adam Wexler. Jay, Sean, you're talking so much about the defenses that, hang on one Adam, you're muted. You're, talk you're talking with Jonathan about all the different defensive assignments that you get. How much do you enjoy that challenge, even possession to possession, game to game, of the different people you have to guard? And how much, how, how do you sense the confidence level that your teammates and your coaches have in you to guard whomever? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that is um, not just for me, but for our team. I think that's kind of got to be our our identity. Um, is that we want to be a top defense in this league, and I think that you know we have the pieces to beat that and. Um, you know, in this game of basketball, you know, your defense feeds off your offense what it's supposed to. So as long as we can play uh, great defense and be in sync on the on the defensive end and get stops, that leads to better offense. So um, th that's that's very important. And last question, Kaylee Griffin. Hey, Jay, Sean, two quick ones. First, I have to ask if you were a little late, were you catching the end of that Ohio State-Michigan game? I was trying to. I didn't <laughs> have a CBS uh, on my phone. I was trying to catch it. Um, I saw they were down uh, with a minute 30 to go. I don't know how it turned out, though. But I'm sorry for the sweatshirt that I am wearing. Michigan did pull uh, away with a three-point win. Um, <laughs> but, Jay, Sean, I just... <laughs> It seems like it's been a while now um, since the Sixers game, but is there anything you can take away from um, getting back into that game with the best team in the Eastern Conference? Were there things that you can pull from that second half that this team can build on? Yeah, um, you know, like I said in my um, my last interview is, you know, you, you guys saw what um, this team's capable of in that second half, you know, coming down, being down, I don't know how many, it was more than 20. Um, to, you know, fight to the end. We just got to bring that same intensity um, on the defensive end uh, from the jump. And uh, like I said, I think we had two great days of practice. Um, it got competitive as it should, and um, we're going to be ready to, ready to go tomorrow. Thank you, Jay Sean. We appreciate your time. Thank you. you guys have a good day. You too.